All right, I'm back. Uh, sorry for not uploading at all. I really hope to start uploading more on this channel. Anyways, this is my replica UA fake shoe collection, whatever you want to call it. And before you ask, yeah, I don't have many. A lot of the shoes that you've seen in previous like haul videos and stuff, I've sold on BST or I've just given them away. I don't want to bore you with a long intro, so let's begin. All right, first pair are the 99 Yuan Jordan 1 Yin Yangs. These are the ones that I showed off in my 10 kilogram haul video. If you haven't watched that video, go watch it. I don't think I don't think I've actually seen a big seller carry these. I've only seen budgets of it. Maybe 168 shops has it, but I haven't checked your shop in a while. And yeah, these are pretty worn, not hyped up at all. And these are pretty fucking good for the price. Aside from the leather quality feeling like laminated cardboard, the only big flaw is the heel is too short right here. If you just compare these to the small grays, it's definitely shorter. And compared to other higher Jordan ones, it's pretty short. And also the wings logo needs more embossing as well. So you can see it looks like it's just printed on there. But, but overall, this is a really good shoe for the price. Here's the tag. There's no, there's no hourglass, but that's fine. The swooshes are also pretty sloppy, but for 99 yuan, I don't think you're gonna get better. So overall, solid 7.5 out of 10. Next are another pair of 99 yuan Jordan 1s, the 158 through Defiance. Again, this pair for the price is really good. The one thing I really hate about it is that you can see that little hairs, they're going inside the shoe now and I can't take them out, or I don't know how to take them out, so that's fucked. Another thing, the Wings logo says Air Eordan, if you, if you can even see it. You can barely see the Wings logo anyway, so again, it doesn't really matter. And honestly, I would have preferred if they had the yellow sloosh all around the shoe, but it's a unique concept and I like it. Overall, this sloosh is good. The leather quality is really good compared to other Rep Jordan ones I have. Overall, I'd give these a solid 9 out of 10. Next are these 79 yuan pair of Air Forces. And these are sh and these are shit. Just look at the swoosh. That's the cut is awful. It's too thick. It's curved for some reason. Or too, way too curved. You can see the uncut stuff there. Look at all the leather that hasn't been cut. These look like they were made by a six-year-old. They probably were, but still. Uh, thing is, I've never been called out on these once. These are a shit pair, and not one person has said anything about them to me. So that really shows how much people care or actually know about what you're wearing. And yeah, I have dirty ass nails, because I've been touching fucking shoes all day. So, yeah, it's 6 out of 10. These were only 79 yuan, but still, these are awful. Last, but certainly least. It's 1591 pair of blazers. This, these are even cheaper than the forces too, and they're better. They're all right in comfortability. They're a pain to put on, but I think that's just blazers. The only thing that's a flaw, if you could call it that, is that on the material, it's not leather, it's canvas, which is fine. I think they made a canvas version. They, I'm pretty sure they did. Now here's a tag. The back of it. Other than that, they're a really good pair of beaters. I wear them occasionally. So yeah, 8 out of 10 for the price. And uh, I didn't even show the other one. Here's the other one. Oh, okay. And that's my child labor footwear collection. And I know it's not a lot. Lots of the shoes, like the 158s are black toes, the wood table guy preds that you saw in other haul videos, and the reflective Yeezys. I've either sold them or given them away just because they're not my style or they have flaws that I didn't like. But expect more reviews in the future. I got some new shoes coming in again from that 14 kilogram haul and expect a new haul video. And uh, that's it. And thank you for coming to my TED talk. So again, so what brings you out here today? Um, well, I was uh, coming out here to- Glasses off. Okay. Well, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake and then go back home. Nothing that was going to be sexual involved because I'm not like that.